All right, hello. Welcome back to Definitely Not Developer Commentary. Definitely I'm Tony Garcia. Not. I'm Mike Stout. And uh, we're going to be picking up uh, right where we left off on Blizzard Prime. We did most of the video last time in performance mode, so now we're going to go back to fidelity mode. Uh, right. See where we end up. So this is the... Uh, see, now, it's been long enough. I actually couldn't tell you... Which mode we're in? Whether it's 60 or 30, but I think it's 30. Well, right now we're in 30, yeah. Okay. So I, but it, it wasn't as immediately obvious to me as it was when we switched. So you can tell the difference in performance. Do you, do you see a difference in the visuals, or do you not see that difference uh, so much? Uh, you mean in terms of, like, when, when you go 30? Like how there, nice everything looks as a result. I like, don't see it. You don't see it? Uh, here, like, switch, switch it. Let me see what, what we're looking at here. Because we talked about how the, the frame rate is clearly so obvious, but is all the other stuff, I guess that's the question, is all the, is all the other stuff good enough that it makes up for? Yeah, I'm not sure if I can tell the difference besides the frame rate, but there's got to be something. Yeah, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's all in like lighting effects and probably number of particles and all that kind of stuff is probably there. But it's definitely a more subtle thing, right? The ray tracing helps with uh, with uh, lighting too, right? Yeah. Shadows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's usually like very accurate hard shadows, right? That you need the ray tracing. Oh, for. still locked? Come on, man. Give me my glove of doom. You haven't gone to the next level yet. Ugh. All right. Let's <laughs> see. What uh. What do I want to upgrade here? An Extron Collider can't do anything with yet. I have enjoyed using the shotgun. Let's just max this out. You already made that upgrade. Silly. Gotta save some for uh, the Glove of Doom. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I like using the shotgun, though, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this out. Yeah, once, once you pointed out to me that I should use it on the parts of the game that it would be good against, I really started liking the shotgun. Yeah. But when I was using it in the wrong way, I didn't like it very much. Max ammo is probably always a good upgrade. Yeah. What is this? Oh, movement speed is probably pretty good. And uh, this is, oh, it's just two points. Why not? Ricochet, I think, is fine. Shatter bomb. I haven't really been using the shatter bomb, so I think I'm going to keep that. So this this makes me think, like, maybe this is just a thing I keep running into, but I wanted to see if you do too. Uh, like, have you ever worked on a game where someone suggests doing hexagons, and somebody says, "No, this isn't a hexagon game." I have not. I've never been pushed back on hexagon games, but I have worked on. Plenty of games where hexagons have been suggested. <laughs> so, like, there, it, there's something where, uh, like, Ratchet, it's okay. You can do hexagons. Like, most sci-fi, you can get away with it. But then there's just some games where people, they don't want hexagons in it. And I, I, I don't get it, because it's like, it's just a hexagon. Like, yeah. I guess it looks too futuristic, maybe? I don't know. Where's the raritanium? Give me the raritanium. Oh, it's back here. Oh. <clears throat> See, this is what I'm saying. It's. I'm sure this is very annoying to watch. It's just to be like. <laughs> it might be the other way around. There might be people who are just like, you missed the fucking raritanium. Oh, there were definitely those people. But like, yeah, I don't know. All right. Clank gameplay. You ready to fix another dimension? Yes, we're gonna. Leave it to me. This is the, uh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. I like this bit because, well, we'll see. Clank, you made it. I was starting to worry. Were you waiting for me? Only a few minutes. Can you turn the okay. subtitles on? I use the time oh, to sure. My subtitles. Nice. Lucy's. But I digress. Your possibilities are waiting for you to guide them to the Meta Terminal. My possibilities cannot pass through with that much wind. Is there some way I can weigh them down? I like Gary. I think ah, he's a good character. That's a heavy sphere. It will weigh down any object it touches, which sounds rather obvious when you say it out loud. <laughs> 
Hey. So what is in that book of yours? Oh, uh, the most up-to-date collection of knowledge in the universe. As cataloged by my father. And who is that? I believe you know him as the plumber. He is your father? <laughs> no. Did you see that? What is he doing now? Yeah. The plumber's his dad. This means that my headcanon might actually be correct. Uh, for years I've been saying there, there should only be one plumber across all of the universes of space and time in, in Ratchet and Clank. Right. And with all the different versions of Ratchet and Clank between Going Mobile and the PS2 and the PS3 and everything, there is but one plumber. And it sounds like they're saying that's true and that makes me happy. Oh, I can throw it from all this way. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I thought you'd need to go right up to it, too. What does that mean? Oh, just a lot of pointing and saying stuff like, that's a Flargian phone book. That's a Kirtu tooth. That's a Terraclon love poem. Oh, my. I have to write this down because that was incredible, Clank. Oh. Look at all this quality of life stuff they're putting in for us. Oh, yeah, to just teleport and stuff. I was very happy to see that as well. How are things going with Rivet? Well enough. <laughs> she has my memories. I love the little gossipy. How is it with Rivet? It is interesting. For being dimensional counterparts, Ratchet and Rivet have surprising differences. Ratchet never had any wariness of robots when he met me. Yet Rivet does. Maybe your dimension is the outlier. Maybe all the other Ratchets don't Is there like anything here? Their dimensions either. Hmm. I hope I'm not interrupting you. I don't want to interrupt your thought process. Yeah. That's that's all I had to say. I don't want oh, okay, to gotcha. that process. Let's see. Uh, it's probably going over there. So you can get more. Oh, that's cool. You can summon him to your hand like Thor's hammer. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Let's see if I put that over there. Well, it's certainly nice that you could do them from all the way up here. Oh, yeah, you got to make them fast before they jump. Uh, do you oh, have the fast one? I don't have a fast sphere. Did I miss a sphere? I don't know. Oh, wait. Maybe that is a fast oh, sphere. Dang, you can throw these from really far. That's helpful. I wonder yeah, if they're going to require... Yeah, that was the fast sphere. I thought that was the heavy sphere. Oh. And now you got to do something to get rid of that. Oh, and then I have this gravity sphere. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, what? Boo. Well, they, at least they didn't undo your stuff. Yeah. All right, now I do that. Boom, done. Problem solved. I really like the effect where they disappear and go up oh, into the, nice. the bubbles there. The That's like that. well done. Anything about Ratchet and Rivet that's the same? They are both very quick to take action. Unlike me, I always get so caught up in the details. And you wish you were better about that. Not all the time, but it would be nice to not have to worry so much. I probably need a lift sphere before I go through there. It's nice that they gave now. Clank a double jump. I 
hope I'm not interrupting your process, but I think there are more spheres left to find. Thanks, Gary. Ah, Wang! I think I know how to help you with your getting caught up. Alright, let's see how we do this. You just gotta be so they gotta go heavy here. What do you mean? If and they're gonna come through here. Father, and then they stay heavy. Like you know what you're doing can get you everywhere in life. That is carrying a plunger. But I want them to get blown. That didn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's see. All right, let's figure out this puzzle. This one took me a little bit. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's my lift sphere? Where did I put that? All right, here we go. Let's try lifting them as opposed to making them heavy here. Yeah. See, there we go. Now they're blown across. So we make them heavy here. And we make them fast here. And then I should be able to just like punch through here. They're missing something. Oh, wait. They're heavy too early. Yeah, heavy too early. So we switch these. Oh, wait, I don't even need the speed sphere. I do like that there are satisfying particle effects whenever the clank lemmings throw themselves into grinders and stuff yeah like it's exactly what you'd want what happened to clank oh what the heck get better why no why you're are you like this you're crouching is it one of the shoulder buttons makes it no i once i teleported he got fixed oh bugs hacks we're not going to be able to tell you guys why these bugs happen because we didn't make right. the things uh, evolved. But uh, I feel confident saying that was a bug. The lube tube. It's a good name. Hydraulic supply restored. With that fixed, we should now be able to use that elevator. Time to drill for some phase courts. It's always an elevator, man. Can't get up there, Ratchet. There's no elevator. The elevator's broken. It's always an elevator. Almost there. Here's the drill. Get our phase courts. Prepare the dimensionator. In case I'm afraid, do not get another chance to say it. Thank you. Don't get mushy on me now, Bolts. We're not done yet. Hey, look! The pro squad is back. I love when it jumps out. It has that second of hang time. Yeah. Oh. That is comedic timing. That was an attack like what... Uh, what you used on the ones on the uh, spherical world in Ratchet 3, like to come over the horizon? Yeah. Oh. Thanks, Clank. Oh, I have to hit that crystal probably, huh? Probably. Wow, and they just murdered you. That's so mean. Yeah, that, that's the first time they showed me that mechanic. That seems a little unfair. Let's see. To not do that, they would have had to put you on a loop. That wouldn't have been that bad. And the, the problem is the crystal blends in a little bit too much with the, uh, the background the environment. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh I got swing it. Swing shot. See, all these things are blending in a little bit too much. It's hard to spot them out. Uh, I don't know. I saw the swing shot. I'm just saying. But yeah, you're right. Because there's like lots of little purple hazy bits. Yeah. Uh, and 
and the, even the force field that you die on is like orange, so it's in the same warm register. I like that they're using the uh, oh, probably the grind the rails. Crystal. Oh, come on! I think those were crates. No, that was a crystal. But I, I switched the lane, and I the, since the gravity was wonky, I couldn't switch back fast enough. Uh, yeah, that orange force field is a little too subtle. When the whole level is sort of orange and purple. This is one of, like, when you switch uh, with the crystal on the grind rails, it's one of the few areas where you can kind of see the load. Yeah. Because you stop moving for a second. But even that, it's, like, so small. I had to be looking for it. Okay, so this is just a loop. So let's get off the loop. Oh. We are fast approaching the main drill. It's a good thing that the, the hammer cranks end up all being in rivet sections. Yeah, it would be awkward. If... What would rivet do if there was a bolt crank? Or ratchet if there was a hammer crank? Nothing, I tell you. We just have to give up. End yep. of game. Put the, put the wrench down and go home. Whoops. The rifts damaged it. The drill destroyed our blazer. What? But we just turned it on. Oh, uh, take cover. Not engaged. I can try a ah. shutdown. Good Thug. Stupid freaking drill. I thought you loved giant machinery. Good weapon. Uh, Negatron Collider is good. Oh, I just leveled up. Nice. So I will say, I am not a fan of the slow mo that comes when a weapon upgrades. Really? Why? It just ruins my timing. Like I'm getting used. To, I'm used to the pace of the combat, and then suddenly my character moves a lot slower, and it's just like, it comes out of nowhere. It's just very. It doesn't quite feel right to me. We didn't do that, right? No, uh, we didn't slow down time. We uh, we stopped the game. Like we went to like the le that lightning screen. That oh, was that like? It, but it wasn't paused, right? Well, it the, just killed everything. It. I mean, there was no input. Everything stopped while the while that cutscene was happening. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you could still move around. The O2 mask. Yeah. They brought it back. You can't be a Lombax without an O2 oh. mask. You end up in space too much. One of the really nice things about the O2 mask is that it deploys itself. Yeah. Like, that's got to be really helpful if you suddenly find yourself in the middle of, you know, space. This is good music. I like this song. I know you can't hear it, but I, everybody on this video can hear it. It's good song. I'm being quiet so everybody can hear the song. That's something we don't talk about a lot because we didn't have much to do with it. But the music in Ratchet is I, I, so I, good. I am not... I know nothing about music. I don't know any music theory. I don't know why music is good. I just know what I like. So it feels like very false for me to talk about music. But it is one of the things that uh, Ratchet fans are always telling me they love about Ratchet is it's sort of distinctive music. And I think... I think that's like I I agree with that. It is very distinctive. It's 
uh, like even just the instrument choices, right? It's like all the clanking and industrial mm -hmm. sounds, and they mm -hmm. they have melodies to them often too, which is not normal for most games. Like uh, most games would be like ambient chords or special effects in the background. Anyway, that's all to say is I heart the music in these games, just like all of you do, but uh, don't know enough about it to be able to talk at length. Yeah, I mean, I know you've been learning more about music in these past couple of years, but I still am uh, do know absolutely nothing about music. Yeah, it's fun. I like learning things. Uh, from other disciplines, not because I want to do that job instead of someone who's a specialist at it, but because like when I learn things about it, I it, it makes me better at, at my job, right? Because I can be considerate of the you know the things that the the sound and music team are dealing with. I can give them feedback, which is nice. Uh, like on um, on Crash, I did a level called Offbeat, which was like everything was synced with the music. Yeah. And I understood enough to talk to the sound team to get the bits that I that I wanted, right, uh -huh. and, and have that all work. Uh, and so it was kind of like, it was neat to have just enough skill to be dangerous, but not enough that I actually had to do the hard work. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I could speak the language to a certain extent, uh, which is cool. But then also, you know, I could think of things like, oh, I want to do a rhythm sync level or like... There's an instrument you can play, that sort of thing. Ribbit. Oh, she chose Clank. Oh, no. Well, maybe it's not as bad as it... I know this is going to sound totally weird, but the Mords used to tell me legends about someone on Torin 4 called the Fixer. If it's broke, the Fixer will fix it. Then I suppose we should see if the legends are true. I can't believe we saved Blizzard. How about we fix up this face courts and save the universe? All right, folks. Yeah. Let's go find the Fixer. I guess that's the end of Blizzard, huh? Yeah. Oh, we gotta... Hold on. We're gonna get this Raritanium, and then we're gonna be done with Blizzard. I mean, you could do some of the extra stuff. We've got time. Or we could do another level. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm fine doing the video, the critical path on these videos. Oh, I see. The Raritanium's only in different... That's not worth bothering, then. <laughs> If I have to if I juggle use dimensions the and go find the crystals, that's not going to be fun for anybody to watch. Um, but yeah, this was good. I like this level. There was a lot of good set pieces here. Do you want to call it for, for this then, and we'll uh, pick up on the next one or do some of the next one? Uh, we can just move on. Let's see, what's, let's see what we got coming up. Yeah. I imagine we got some cutscenes and stuff coming up here. I want that Glove of Doom. Oh, you should should be able to get it now. All right, so do we want to continue Rivet's story and go to Torin, or do you want to check in on Ratchet? Uh, let me see. What are these? Uh, oh yeah, do do Ratchet, do Savali. Savali. All right. Yeah. Let's go look at. Let's see what Ratchet's doing. If I'm remembering right, this was one of the like. Uh, Remember how we would have mi a mining desert? Ah, yes. This is this is uh, okay. that kind of level. So hopefully this this goes by pretty quick. Yeah. Especially if we're not trying to if get we're not, it. Yeah, if I'm not doing all the all the collecting. They they they, they have uh, collectible lore tapes you can get. Uh, what they are is like little uh, uh, spheres that you find around them. And they call these lore spheres lorbs. And I think I'm going to start calling every lore a lorb. That's, from now I mean, on that's a good name. Across every game. What the heck? Why won't you talk to me? Maybe she's closed? Yeah, that doesn't look right, though. 
Maybe try restarting. Like use a. Uh... I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. See what happens here. I think there's a thing in the menu where you can restart. Let's, let's go back and forth and see what happens. It's amazing how fast that is. I mean, they have all this time, but they didn't seem to need it. trouble still blows my mind that that's a load <laughs> if I knew how to build a dimensionator where would I be oh and actually that's better no she is close she's mad at me or something well that's what you get Man, where's my glove of doom? There, there is another Mrs. Zircon later on. Yeah, I know. Hey, uh, yeah, weird question. You wouldn't happen to know anything about building a dimensionator, would you? Ratchet? Ratchet! <laughs> Gary, <laughs> your, your reputation precedes you. Yeah. You'll need to go to the interdimensional archives. My apprentice can help you, but... His skin looks very squishy, and it seems very disconcerting to me. How just squishy he looks. Is it because of the subsurface? Yeah, it's lighting? the subsurface scattering. I don't know how to explain subsurface scattering. Google you? it. You just gotta just Google, Google it. it. It's a, it's an art thing. It's the way that the light penetrates the skin and like. Right. scatters and like if you hold your hand up to a light you see like the red come through like the come web through the back fingers. of your hand that's subsurface scattering it's the way that the light interacts with your skin underneath the surface of the skin yeah okay that's a, new one. That's a thing that we take into account now yeah that's remarkable uh let's see what guns do i need to use sand shark let's burst pistol up a little bit i haven't been using this too much I didn't realize I'd miss the sand sharks till I saw them again. But I do miss them. They're such a perfect swarmer. They are very good. Like them and the ankle biters from the snow level in Ratchet 1. They were like the little pink swarmers that had two legs. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think these guys are going to stop. Oh, there might be like a thing spawning them maybe. Every time I kill them, just more show up. Okay. Is it? Oh, what? He knocked me off. Oh, I didn't die. That's well. Oh, look. Well, there's a big bunch of crates there, too. It's some raritanium. That was nice of the sand shark, then. I'm not so mad about that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good... Um, uh, it's a good... Uh, uh, game design technique right is to uh if there's a place that you don't really expect that they'll go but they might you put a little reward there yeah it always just makes it feel better They're like i hit a dead end oh and i found a thing oh there's one a thing I'm, one thing i'm noticing a lot about the levels in this game is uh they're like the structure of them is slightly different than what we used to do in the, in the PS2 ratchets. Like a lot of the time, you were moving straight forward through a level. You'd use a combat space like once yeah. from one direction and then move on. But a lot of these areas are like, uh, you know, you come through a linear area out into uh, a, a larger area that isn't linear where you have a little fight right run around and that's that's pretty cool uh like you can give ratchet little jungle gyms to play around on which we we weren't ever able to do and a lot of that had to do with pathfinding 
I, I love watching that happen at a distance. Can I get him from here? Yeah, I got him. See, that's this is the kind of thing where the ricochet is good at, right? You just get them from a distance, and then you can go and take cover while the ricochet does the work. Yeah. But uh, yeah. it's the the situations I found where this is particularly, you know, not more where this is more useful than like like a rocket launcher would be. Right. Has been uh, has been difficult to find. But it's not to yeah. say that there haven't been good situations for it. It's just one of those things where like. Uh, like, when would you want this that you wouldn't just want something that did more damage on the first hit? Right. Uh, and there probably, are, like, you just found a couple of occasions where you would. But, uh, yeah, when I was playing, I didn't find a lot of those. Uh, like, I almost would want it to do the ricochet automatically so that yes. I could then be off targeting something. To and turn I'm, it into I'm, another fire and forget sort of weapon. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe maybe that that was the thing, right? They didn't need another fire and forget weapon. So far, it's Mr. Fungi, the Topiary Sprinkler, and then soon the Agents of Doom. And weirdly enough, the Mr. Fungi and the Topiary Sprinkler are two of the weapons I have not bought yet. Uh, oh, on see. this on this playthrough. Well, we did talk about like how uh, some some people like to do the the more straightforward shooting. But I always like throwing out all of the fire and forget weapons. Gary said his apprentice is at the archives. Hmm, seems risky. Oh, shortcut back. I mean, that, that was probably the correct way down more than anything else. I don't know. Your way sent, see, it looked like more fun. No. Oh! Whoa, whoa. Hey. So embarrassing. You all right? That was quite the <laughs> landing. Who are you? Sorry, I... <laughs> You look so familiar. I didn't notice before that Rivet had Clank's color scheme. So this is... I didn't even catch before That's very that Rivet cool. and Clank had the same color scheme. Until you saw Until I ratchet. saw the, the robot with the ratchet color scheme. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think I noticed that either. Maybe, uh, maybe we could work together? I do not make a great partner. Hmm. How about this? If things go badly, which they won't, wow, the, we go our separate this ways. animation on Ratchet is so good. Yeah. Team? Sure. Team. For now. That's a good thing every robot works with that backpack thing. That's it's just so hard. To animate a character that just looks kind, and yeah. they nailed it on that scene. Yeah. Like yeah. his eyes, his expressions, everything about him just looked so kind. Yeah, because he he saw that the robot was frightened and he was trying to calm it down and yeah. like befriend it. Yeah, which is leaps and bounds from Ratchet One, Ratchet. Not that there was anything wrong with like selfish Ratchet, right? But he's clearly learned a thing or two. Oh, I like these boots. Yeah. Yeah. They're good. L2 repeatedly. I like that. Yeah, you, you, you have to charge them up. I, uh, I ended up using one of the... Uh, oh, oh, it's like skating. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's fun, right? These are awesome. So you pump the two uh, uh, haptic triggers, right? Just L2. Alternately. Yeah, it's just L2. Oh, okay, L2. Yeah, and you're, like, L2. pulling on it to sort of vroom, vroom. Like, That's really cool. I ended up, uh, so my, my hands hurt and my uh, uh, fingers hurt sometimes. So I ended up having trouble sustaining the the boots, but they have an option in there so that, like, you can take the charge options. out. You, yeah. So I actually ended up using one of those when I was playing because I needed it to 
have me not have to hold down the button with my finger. That's it awesome. Hurt. Yeah, it, there was a couple bugs with it, but <laughs> <laughs> but it was actually very helpful. I like this. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. I spent a lot of time in this level oh. when I played it because I just enjoyed moving around with the skates so much. And I wanted to get all the lorbs because... Because they're called lorbs. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want a lorb? I love that big giant spider library thing that you're trying to get up to. It's a really cool idea. Oh, that's it. What did Ratchet just say? He promised something? That that, that he'll help. Oh, okay. Uh, let's, let's try the ricochet, see how useful it is here. Oh, yeah, there's that guy. This thing's got to probably die first. Yeah. And that, that actually gives me a springboard to talk uh, if you want to focus Go ahead, on yeah. fighting. Go ahead, yeah. So, uh... Uh, one of the, 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 the key elements in designing Ratchet and Clank enemies and, and setups is that uh, you, you, whenever you're making combat, you want the enemies to ask the player questions. The player then uses their ability to answer the questions. And in, in Ratchet, a lot of that, the, the main thing you're trying to figure out in every setup is, like, who do I attack first? Right? Who's the next person that I should go after? And you're making that decision based on all kinds of little things. How much weapon? How much ammo do I have? And which weapons? Like, uh, uh, you know, what what is the terrain like? Can I get up? Can I get down? And each of those things is like slightly changing the answer to that question, right? Like, is there a giant, heavy flying thing that's shooting lasers at yeah. me? <laughs> Maybe I should take care of that first. But oh no. There's a gap in between me and that thing. So maybe I should take care of the swarmers first so that I could get across the gap, right? Like, there's little things in the environment and in the makeup of the enemy setup that makes you want to fight one thing more than... That was cool. That makes you want to fight one thing maybe more than another. Right. And that's, that's like, 90% of what makes Ratchet combat gameplay fun is, like, who do I want to attack next? And does that... The answer to that question change based on the circumstances of where I am. And so seeing you say, oh, that guy needs to die first, it's like, excellent. They're getting exactly the job done that right. they need to be getting done. And that's sort of, I think that's why Ratchet is fun, even when you don't have it on a high difficulty level. Because you're still making those calculations, right? But the calculation, rather than being like, uh, I need to do this, I need to do right this now, well. otherwise I'm going to die. As opposed to like, let's see how efficiently I can do mm -hmm. this, right? Like, can I do this without running out of ammo? Can I pick better weapons? Like, there's always a, a thing you can be doing that that it's it, it may not be challenging, but it's interesting, right? So even without challenge, there's something fun about Ratchet's gameplay. We'll let Brother Gary know you rescued us. Good luck, sister, and long thanks. Yeah, it's funny. I think uh, there was there was a they haven't made one of these in a while, but they did make a bunch of them. I think back to like uh, Max Payne, yeah, where each setup was a puzzle more than yeah. anything else. Each setup was just like, okay, how am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to act? Like it wasn't about like just going into a room and just shooting indiscriminately. It was about figuring out number one, number two, number three. Kind of thing, the and they did very well. Back. And Ratchet has a similar sort of thing. It's not so as puzzly as Max Payne was, but it is really much more about trying to find a good style and a good like uh, rhythm to it, as yeah. opposed to just as much as it may feel like just going in indiscriminately. Like you do have to like think through your approach plan. Yeah, and even with with games that some people would think of as being that way, right? Where it's uh, like your, uh, like God of War, right? They have the same sort of thing, even though you wouldn't expect it. Yeah. Like uh, 
yeah, you're just laying about you with all of these godly weapons, but they're they have different kinds of oh. enemies. What the heck? What did I hit here? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to distract you. Oh, that's but fine. Long I saw a blue shot. glow, and I was just like. I was just saying it's the same in God of War, even though it seems like it shouldn't be, because that's more of like a. It, it feels more like uh, uh, the combat is sort of like just feeling powerful and hacking your way through. Yeah. But even on the easiest modes of God of War, the different enemies that they have like make you want to approach things in a slightly different way. So even if it's you know even if you're not playing it on hard difficulty, it's still interesting. It's the big purple beast. Oh, I don't know, man. You've said like four or five times in this thing. Oh, look, it's the beast from from uh, jo uh, not Joe, but Barlow. I like him. He's good. I like him when I'm not working on him. <laughs> was he a pain? He was a pain. Because he had two giant massive feet. I like this guy's California beach accent. The idea that these Lombax scholars have California beach accents. Yeah, they get, they, they're they hitting a very specific vibe of person. It reminds me of the, the guy from the, the desert in Ratchet 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the crystals. You know, the, uh, I guess Sublime's uh, album, like it's their 25-year anniversary uh, this last week. And uh, I've been reading a lot of think pieces about Southern California dude bros as a result of. <laughs> uh, so it's it's funny that it's that it's showing up here as well. Think pieces about California dude bros. Why is she still? I don't know. That doesn't that that looks wrong. Come on! I want my weapons. Did you try uh, restart last checkpoint? That looks better. Wow, yeah. something got messed up. Something got screwed up. Oh, we're good now. 22, come on. You're so close. Stupid game. You need right. to be hitting those crates. Let's look at this You're always preview. missing the crates. I really like that they made the bots nice and big. We couldn't really have them be too big originally because they, they couldn't have, there couldn't be a bunch of them and have them yeah. be high poly. So when we make them smaller, like we could, we could use fewer. We also didn't have giant 77 inch televisions back in the day. True, true. Or uh, for that matter, pathfinding. Or 4K resolution or like when you're dealing with like, you know, I get, what, what were progressive scan TVs? They had to be like. That was 60 hertz, 40 40, 480, yeah. yeah. When you're dealing with a 480 resolution, there's only so much you can get onto that screen. <laughs> That's a good point. We're, we're playing this on Tony's gigantic TV. Is this like, a, is what we're watching the actual aspect ratio of the Yeah, the it should be. It's inter it fills the whole screen. And I'm, I'm sort of used to there being like a little gutter around the edges of the screen. It's very cool. All right, let's go here. What did you want to know about the Lombax? We believe the Lombax was used and perhaps built at the temple here. Do you know why they wouldn't have built them? Not really. I guess it was to keep knowledge about the dimension needle hidden. I see. Thank you anyway. It's one of the really interesting thing about the Lorbs. If, if we're not going to be collecting uh, them here, is they actually mention other Sony properties. So, like, they sideways mention Jack and Daxter and... Oh, Sony interesting. Because uh, it's, it's like a record of... Uh, spoiler alert, everybody. But if you're watching this, I mean, this is a whole thing is a spoiler. Yeah. Uh, but the, the records are from a Lombax doing homework to, like, spy on different d dimensions. And he's he writing down what, what he sees in them. And then one of them, he's talking about a giant raccoon-looking thing that sneaks around. And but yeah, it's funny. So they, you know, we got a, a Sony Cinematic Universe yeah. showing up here. See, which lends more credence to my theory that there is only one univ you know, that there, there are many dimensions. 
but only one plumber. And so now I want the plumber to show up if they ever make a, 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 another uh, Sly Cooper game or another Jack and Daxter game. I want the plumber to show up there. Gotcha. Gran Turismo, plumber. In the pl- yeah. Just get him into every Sony franchise. Spider-Man, plumber. Wouldn't that be great, though, if like, the, like, he's going after the last boss, Doc Ock or whatever, and then the, <laughs> you know, like the plumber shows up and gives him that little bit of advice It needs. might be a little bit of a tonal shift, but I can see it. You, I mean, it would take some more doing, but you could do it. <laughs> One of the interesting things uh, Whoa, about... what the heck? All right, there's a lot going on here. So I was going to point out, like, uh, the desert levels that we had on the PS2 games, uh, we, we, could, we couldn't do regular ratchet setups in them because we didn't have the, the graphical budget or memory budget to have a whole bunch of little... Uh, uh, little sets, right? Little, yeah. like this is a little combat area that they built on top of the desert, right? Right. We could only have the desert because it was massive and we needed to fit it all in memory and there right. weren't any occluders, so everything just had to pop out of the sand mm-hmm. whenever you got close to it. Whereas something like this, like it's still a big open desert level and they can have these little o- oasises, I guess, for combat. Right. right. Uh, it's just really interesting that like they can, they can have normal ratchet setups in it, because they can. Actually, they don't have to hold all this stuff in memory at the same time. Mm-hmm. They can load it, they can stream it, and there's a lot more memory. Uh, although I suppose all the textures are larger and everything. Uh, I w- I, I saw the, the slowdown happen. Yeah. I wonder if there's an accessibility option to turn off the... Oh, that's interesting. Let me, let me take a look. Because if it's throwing you off, it probably throws other people off. God, that gun is so weak. <laughs> oh, the, the blaster? The, yeah, the opening blaster. Have you not been using it a lot? No, it's almost done, though, I think. So I just want to finish it off. That's another thing that's sort of like uniquely ratchet is this like, I just need to get the weapon up to max level so I can stop using it. Right. <laughs> that's, that's such a weird. Ah, so yes, level up. So ah, there you I'm go. Turning that off because I'm not a fan. Great. Good call. Good call. Nice. They really did think of everything. Yeah, they, that, that was really sweet. Is this, does this swing shutter go anywhere? No, I think it's part of the jungle gym in this area. Yeah. Oh, there's a. Isn't there a raritanium right there? No, maybe it was just a health cube. Oh, yeah, God, it looks so level. good. Yeah, it does look really nice. Are, which one are we on now? I are will we say on I, the 30 hertz. Uh, this is perf- we're still in perform we're still in fidelity mode. Fidelity. Okay, so this is 30 hertz. This the swing feels really good. Given that they just did a full game on swinging, it's not surprising <laughs> that the swing feels really good, but it does feel very good. Good point. I actually hadn't thought about it that way. Um, this system is quite old and intricate. It will take some time to disable the force field. Take as long as you we always used to call these protect the dork missions. <laughs> and, uh, uh, People hate escort missions. They hate them. They hate them. But the sometimes you got to design an escort mission. Like sometimes you just got to. And when you do, I like them like this, right? Where the escort's not moving around and the enemies are generally attacking you. Right. Like uh, maybe there's like some outside chance they could end up killing the thing you're protecting. But like most of the time that's not. Nobody wants to be thinking about keeping your stupid companion alive like that's never whenever you're having to think about 
oh, is he taking too much damage or any of those stupid things? Yeah. I mean, it'd be one thing if the whole game was based around that. Right. right? Like, then you could you could spend the time and do all the things you would need to do to make that not annoying. But, uh, yeah. It's not easy. Yeah, I definitely have to level up this drill hound. Get it faster. It's a little bit slow. Let us say yes. We got some more friends arriving. Remember when, uh, when Ratchet first met Clank, he also had a numerical call sign instead of Clank. Oh, I love the banter. Something attacking her? No, nothing's attacking her. Oh, this thing is, I guess. I love the banter the enemies have. Yeah. They'll just, you know, who has t two arms and loves patrolling? All of us! I need to get some light. Oh, hello. Oh, there's some life. Oh, there's so much life. Am I hurting this thing? It's at 76. So well, no, Kate, damage. she's at 76. My little oh. robot pal. Oh, there, he just took some damage. Uh, this is what you get for not having Mr. Fungi. Explosion. Uh, giant yeah. chunks are having some problems. Gi giant <laughs> physics objects. You saved us, sister in Ratchet Guy. Thank you. There is only one temple left. One more temple. Only one more. We'll find them. I promise. Designing these uh, wide open farming levels is hard. Yeah, I can imagine. You would think, like, oh, let's just have a big desert. Would be kind of an easy level. But you to have design. to put stuff in that big desert. Exactly. And then you have to, like,. You have to do the, the dunes of the desert so you can't see too far in any direction. Right. And you have to make sure, though, that from any given point of interest in the desert, you can see something else that looks interesting so that you're drawn towards it. It's a lot. So how did you get to be Gary's apprentice? It is so... I like these little pocket dimensions. Oh, I got a double jump, I guess. I was kind of relieved when I learned that I didn't actually have to push a button to run on those walls. Yeah. Because up to that point, I had been pressing, like, circle. But we had to split up. Oh. I am sorry. Whoa. Jesus. Well, you're making it. Ah, 
Ah. Oh. Oof. What the heck? Did you win? No, I'm just back. I just didn't fail hard enough. Fail harder this time, Tony. We're going to use the dash. Yeah. I think that's what they're asking, wanting you to do. One of the other things... That was I, good. That was fun. I noticed about the this game as opposed to the PS2 games, they do a lot more camera directing. They absolutely do. I guess it's hard for... I imagine it's hard to see on the video because you just see the camera move and you can assume that I'm doing it. But I am noticing while playing, there's a lot of camera motions that I am not driving. And they work. They do work. Which is... It's, it's, it's very difficult to do. Uh, because... Oh, there it is. Uh, it's very difficult to do where you take the camera away from the player and then give it back to them and have that not be really jarring. Yeah. There's a lot of level design work on top of camera work and like all of that, that that's just, we never did that uh, on the PlayStation 2, mainly because we didn't have good tools for authoring that kind of thing right. in, in Maya. It would be like, oh, lay down a spline or, you know, uh, it was just very, very rarely that we would do that. Nice. I'm just trying to find my third lorb if I happen to see it along the way. Some raritanium. The uh, full screen effect. Uh, for for giving you a sense of speed is really cool too. Yeah. Oh, this is there's some meritanium here. This is how this is how the level got me. Like, oh look, there's little little pad puzzles I can get meritanium for. And then I don't know. I I spent ah. hours and hours. Did you and Clank come to the they're still blue. Together? Yeah, I don't have to. I don't have to be as fast as as this. A new best friend? I hope not. I did not mean he was replacing you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Raritanium has led you straight into our That's a good line. That's good. Wow, there's a lot of them. I told you the trap would work. No one can resist Raritanium. When there's a bunch of little guys all squeezed in like that, uh, I like to use the bomb, even though the shotgun is better. Yeah. I wonder if I should have gone back to Miss Zircon, but no. Oh, do you have enough to afford the... I got to imagine. Yeah, I got enough for the Glove of Doom now. the temple's elaborate defense system or as we lovingly call it the gauntlet of trial slash doom oh slash i doom. hate slash doom you're ready for it i'm sure best of luck so follow the path as fast as you can this area was the one where i ran into trouble with the auto uh the auto speed thing oh, is that uh it made it, I think it made it difficult for me to stop or 
drive somehow. So I would do the manual. Uh, I would change it to manual, uh, uh, like where you hold it gotcha. here, and then change it back when I'd go into the other area. They may have already fixed that, because uh, I know they've done a couple patches. That's for, that's for chumps who can't just <laughs> speed through. Oh, oh, uh, I missed the grind rail. Don't do that. I will try not to. Next time... Hit the grind rail. You can do it, Tony. I know you can. I mean, not from any actual evidence of you being able to do it. Right. Just because you bu yeah, you, in yeah. my heart. You missed it. And they even put those birds there so that you'd <laughs> notice where it was. I was confident I could make it. Well, you did. Nice. That was good. Yeah. I like that little racing minigame. Oh. A little rare titanium. So you see this area in front of you, and it's like, oh, there's going to be some fighting. Yeah. I guess the nice thing about this weapon is that you can shoot them and then go behind cover. Yeah. Like, you don't have to worry about your aim once it's on them, right? You, yeah. you just worry about dodging. And then it's just about the rhythm. Please, take me to that terminal so I can free the others. Oh, no. A Zeta virus. Oh, the hacker the spider thing. Glitch. My little friend Glitch can take a look at it. Here, let me see. You got this, Glitch. Holographic robot. Great. I just need to delete the pods, which will clear out the infection and free those boys for a ratchet. That is no problem. You know what you've got, Chris? Man, you know, I'm, I consider myself pretty lucky that I don't get things like motion sickness and stuff. But a lot of these spirals, I'm like, man, I can see how games can be very hard for some people. Oh, you mean like the gravity spirals? Yeah, like this, like just this spiral that I went through at the start of this kind of thing, right? Where it was just like doing all that spinning. Yeah. And that was something we had to be mindful of. Yeah. Uh, you know, was how how fast the camera was moving, how uh, uh, you know the if there's a lot of colors moving around really fast, that also makes it harder. Yeah. I remember uh, the there was a moon, one of the Obani moons in Ratchet 3, where you fight Courtney Gears. It's all pink and has lots of uh, gravity tunnels in it. Yeah. And I know that one really gave people motion sickness who who were sort of vulnerable to it. Uh, and I think what we ended up doing was there was like uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering, but I think we did something where we made the camera move slower or something in that area. Just so it wasn't quite as nauseating. Those things remind me of uh, Mother Brain. Oh, the little the little virus brain things. things. 
Yeah. I've been thinking about Super Metroid every so often recently. I should probably go back and uh, give it another play. They got that new Metroid coming out that everybody's all excited about. Is it a 2D Metroid? It is a 2D Metroid, I believe. Oh, man. Okay. I do love 2D Metroid games. I never could do the Prime games, the, the 3D ones. Yeah. Like, it just wasn't... Wasn't your thing? wasn't my thing. I, like, I get why people like them, and they're good. But, uh... uh 2D Metroids were always my jam. I love that, like, Glitch is just this sort of, uh, uh, like, there's not a lot of time spent characterizing glitch and yet i know from from I, I know what kind of person she is yeah you know what i mean like just from the few vocal lines uh and like that little animation where she shows up in ratchet's hands it's kind of cool how they can do so much with so little it's a difficult thing to do when you have lots of resources and cutscenes and stuff let alone when all you've got are you know 10 or 12 voice lines yeah you know. of course you are glitch you're really good at this very proud of her I'm proud of glitch I am relieved you are all safe but now we need your help to reach the archives oh yeah Let's meet up back in Mungtown. We'll get everyone to send you off and <laughs> Their voices are so amazing. <laughs> like, who makes this choice? Such a weird choice to make. What, for hippies? I think a California accent uh, makes a I lot suppose. of sense for hippies. Of course. Brothers, let's grease some dimensional wheels. After you entering the archive. I probably should listen to Gary. You gotta get a running start, yeah. I'm not going as fast as I can, man. Now. This is fun. <laughs> yes. Boom. Boom. That felt good. Ah, uh, come on. Let's finish off some weapons. What am I working on? Oh, let's finish this off. Uh, this is probably not best for these. The, uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, I, you know, you were talking about, like, the very ratchet things. I love this shotgun, but it's, like, leveled out, and I feel like I shouldn't use it, even though I love Cause using it. Because the weapon XP isn't going yeah. somewhere useful. I, uh, someone mentioned in the comments that we should definitely do some... New Game Plus because they've got uh, some weapons there that don't show up in the oh, interesting. normal game. So okay. We can at least play a few levels of that when we when we get there. Oh, that felt good. One of the nice things about having this be a a game about rifts opening up, uh, right, is like they, they can do setups like this where they can just spawn things in from rifts right. or whatever. I don't think they are doing that here, but uh, it's it's always nice when your your theme gives you an excuse right. to uh, make something easier on yourself. Right. In this case, they can just all fly in from outside because it doesn't matter. But like, sometimes. The blueprints, the dimensional map. We gotta focus. I wonder if the uh, enemy setups change because I feel like there's a lot more enemies 
Yeah, I can see. I, I can imagine that they probably up the enemy count in some. Uh, like anything that you where you're doing waves, like yeah, like in this one. Yeah. Like it's an easy it's an easy tuning lever, right? Once. Although we did. Uh... And uh, I'm just saying, to your point, like you're talking about like things that make it easier on yourself. Yeah. When you do the waves kind of combat mechanic, it gives you a lot of levers in terms of like. Yeah. Different enemies, number of enemies, and like all that kind of stuff, which is not something you get if you just have a bunch of like set placements. On Ratchet two and three, we did we did do a thing where uh, there's a guy somewhere shooting. There he is. The dynamic difficulty tuning um, what would actually doing? change the composition of enemy doing? setups. Maybe if I come out here, he'll stop. Oh, there's two of them. Those guys might be decoration. I mean, I can't get in here yet. I think I gotta kill him. Is there a terminal you can send the uh, robot on? Oh yeah, up here. Oh, there's, there's a bolt crank. Do, do, do. Yes, this is what bull cranks are good at. Feeling like you did that, you know? How dare you evade the draft? The emperor demands you bow and then go splash. Oh shoot, is there two of them? Holy jeez. Alright. Do they have a shared health? That looks like it. Alright, how am I doing this? I mean, this is working out pretty good. Oof. All hail the emperor. One of the, when I was playing, uh, I kept getting hit by those laser attacks. And, like, it would always take me, like, half the fight to kind of get used to dodging those laser attacks. And I'm not yeah. sure why it, it was so complicated and specific. Oh, we're done with that. That's good. Oh, that does pretty good damage. a lot of damage. Oh, that does really good. Oh, they didn't have a shared health. Okay, it was... It's just showing the last one you attacked. Oh, this is not going great. Yeah, where's all that ammo and health? This is so cool. Like, the thing you're on... Looks like it's moving, and they're not doing it just by messing with the Whoa, camera. Whoa, Jesus like. Christ! There was a guy there. Because the horizon is actually changing. I mean, maybe they're doing the camera and the skybox or something, but it really looks like it's moving. Oh, come on! All right, we just gotta kill him. 11%, 7%. Did I get him? Uh, maybe. This writing anywhere. Lombaxes. They must have built this. My dad was the keeper of the Dimensionator. The original one, anyway. He gave everything to keep it out of the wrong hands. 
<sighs> Sorry, Dad. Do you miss them? The Lombaxes? Kind of hard to miss someone you've never met. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, I guess I do. I understand. Perhaps one day you will find them. Let's figure out if we can even build the Dimensionator first. Can we? Yes. But the forge needed to do so is located at Kadaro Station, the most secure outpost in the galaxy. Well then, let's get moving, KT-74... Ratchet? <laughs> I think Kit is my favorite. Kit it is. Everybody's so cute. Who? who did you just, you, Kit is or Ratchet? Kit. Oh, everybody. I'm just saying every character they introduce is just so cute. But Kit is also especially cute. Yeah. No! We gotta go. We must protect the archives. There's no time. It has been fun, Ratchet. This music. Oh my god. So glad she can also do the giant clank thing. Yeah. You just don't see it enough. At will too, she didn't need like a special giant clank pad or nothing. I told you. I do not make a great partner. Sure. That was intense, but it was kind of awesome. You do not understand. You are not safe around me. I was built to be a weapon. To keep the Emperor's galaxy secure. So One was Clank. Patrol. I spotted a rebel in the Imperial Zone. So I tried to... Stop them. That is what I was built to do. Hurt. I am here to keep everyone safe from me. And that is why I cannot come with you. Well, at least this mission worked out, huh? Yes. I suppose it did. And if I remember correctly, our promise was that if this mission didn't go badly... You want to stay a team? You are very strange, <laughs> Ratchet. I've been told that a time that or two. That grin. Team? Perhaps. Just this once. Yes. I will try. <laughs> well, that was a hell of a level. That's a good level. Yeah. That was a really good level. I really like that one. It's probably a good uh, good time to call it. I want pretty, a long, pretty long episode. I just want to look at this preview of the Void Repulsor. And then we'll have to decide if I want the new cannon or if I want it. Oh, it's a shield, huh? You want the uh, Glove of Doom. Do I want the Glove of Doom? Well, if it were me, I would get the Glove of Doom because... So this is just a shield. Okay. No, it's a it's a, a shield it's... gun. Yeah. Does a, lot oh. of, does a lot of knockback. Okay. It's cool. I liked it. Yeah, I think the Glove of Doom is probably right? what I actually want. Yeah. And I should probably buy out, like, these These are so cheap, the Mr. Fungi and the Topiary Sprinkler. Mr. Fungi I liked more, than, like, it found a little more useful than the Topiary Sprinkler. All right, and let's, uh... yeah, we don't need to see me upgrade. We can just uh, call it from here. So, cool. um, yeah. Well, thank you all for watching. This has been another episode of Definitely Not Developer Commentary. My name is Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And we'll catch you next time.